Hi, welcome back to my videos. So if you're new here, I usually do a lot of content about motherhood, but since it's the beginning of the year, let's go in and talk about um, our resolutions and our goals for 2024. I know a lot of people, some people do them and actually complete them. Some people do them and they don't do them. And then there's a lot of us that don't even bother with them because they know it's not really gonna work out for you if you're not going to finish it. So let's get into it. So I broke it down by like different categories. For, so let's get into the first category. So my first category is health. So I just had a baby. He just turned four months. And so if you know that, I want to eat healthier so I can be at very active with my son. I want to be exercising. So I need to figure out how I could do that with a baby. Working out, taking turns with me and my husband, doing it like that, or using my baby as exercise or when my baby's asleep, I exercise. So I'll have to figure that around it. But I also want to drink more water because it's so easy to just pop open a soda or juice and just have it instead of water. But we all need water to survive on. Like breast milk, you need water. And I am breastfeeding, so I need to drink a ton of water to help that. And you need water to survive. But I know water doesn't always taste the best, but if you could just put a little drop of some vitamin or something that tastes a little bit better, and it'll make you drink more water. I also want to be able to walk outside more and go on walks and be outside with nature more because I feel like I'm always inside with my baby. Um, so another part of health is that I want to cook healthier meals and pick healthier meals when I'm out. Like if I have to go to a fast food, choose like a healthier option. And then I want to create a good stash of breast milk either for this baby or save it so I could send it in for someone to make it like powder milk for, for my next child. But I want to like start having a better stash of breast milk, which is all the health things. I need to drink more water. I need to eat healthier. I just need to be healthy all around to be able to create a better stash of milk, breast milk, and for me to continue having breast milk. So the next category is mind and soul. So like, I want to, A, I do want to work on my mental health. So read more, journal more, do daily gratitudes and be more present in every moment. And then I need to make a limit, a time limit for screen time. I know it's so easy to have the TV on, be on the computer, um, be on your phone. It's just so much easier in this technology days. And then I want to just keep a clean, organized apartment, which I pretty much do, but it's so hard with the baby. Like right now, his what his, his nursery is, this is like the office nursery right now is piled with laundry that I've folded, but I need to get it, put it away. So I need to work on prioritizing like, okay, I need to set this time to do the laundry and put it away instead of watching a show or something. And then I just need to have me time to focus on myself and my mental health because I have a baby and I was stressing out so much and I still am. Still am, I'm trying to get through the postpartum era, trying to work it out. So that's what I have for my mind and soul. The next category is family. I want to be able to spend more quality time with my family together, either meaning my husband and I and our child or with my own family. I need to spend time with my own sisters, my brother, maybe have a better relationship with my brother just spend time, more time with my parents and my grandma. My grandma's getting older. We don't know how much longer she has. Um, and then spending time with my husband's family. 
it's important. Family is important. They're who's there to help us when we need help. But we need to be there when they need help. And then another part, I want to set a like regular nighttime uh, to do movie nights or TV shows to watch with my husband or my family, whoever wants to join in. Just so that we have that quality time of spending time together. Like we can all rotate of, oh, I'm going to pick this movie today. You can pick it next time. And then I want to spend more quality time with my baby being present. Lately, I've been like so stressed because he's been fussy and clingy. But I need to work on that. So for YouTube, my goal for YouTube is to grow my channel. Um, be consistent on my posting. I'm trying to post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Trying. Trying. Even if I like post them ahead and then schedule them. I'm trying to make that happen, but it's hard with a baby. Um, get better at editing my videos and do some fun videos that I love, which I have planned some videos. I've already planned out a lot of my videos till I think at least July. Not saying that I'm going to do all the videos that I have planned, but I'm going to try to do them all. And I love the videos that I'm have scheduled to be making. So I hope you like them too. Um, that also goes into my, my next point. Sorry, I'm sick. Um, that my, to plan my videos ahead, which I have, I play on them till July. And then a couple of videos past July too. I already planned all of December I had to do that ahead of time and then um work on talking to the camera better during my video sometimes I've noticed I'm actually not looking right at the camera I'm more looking at the picture of the camera to see how it looks so I need to work on that and then um I just need to find a better like schedule maybe this month I do these many videos with this schedule and then I try a different schedule to see what I like. The next point is my financial goals. So I want to create a budget and stick to it, be better at it and save money um, and save money and work on emergency fund and work on paying off my debt, my husband's debt, like our whole debt that we have. And then I really need to find a better job that maybe I could do hybrid work more outside the house and um, away a couple of days a week. Um, but I really need to create a budget and just stick with it so that we could save money and spend it on our baby um and then my category for self-growth I want to make a daily to-do list so I know what I need to do today so I can finish it and not be super stressed if I can't get to it and then I really want to discover what my strengths are another big topic topic thing that I need to learn is I need to learn to let things go. I hold things very tightly. Um, and then I also need to work on thinking before I respond. I have, I don't really have a good filter. Sometimes I just say it and I don't necessarily always mean it. And then I need to create some healthier boundaries with people. like either with my siblings or with my parents or with my husband. I just need to create it. I need to stand up because I don't like conflict. So I need to work on that. My next category is relationships. I need to plan out like hangouts and meetups. Like when I want to like meet people, hang out with them because I don't really, not really that good at it. Um, and the next point is I want to show support to my loved ones. I really don't do that. It's sad. I'm just there. I'm like, oh, okay. How 
is that? I'm just very like kind of monotone. I need to work on it better. It's kind of sad. Um, and then the next point is to have deeper conversations. Some people I'm better at deeper conversations than others, but the other people that I don't have a good relationship to have a deeper conversations, I need to work on that. And then I need to show them that I do appreciate them. And then the next point is I need to find some mom friends, people with kids, <laughs> um, just so like we could do like meetups and our kids can hang out and it's like kind of fun and something new for us. So that's what my goals are. So hopefully I get them done. Most of them knocked out. We'll see. I'll do a revision of how well I'm doing at the end of this year. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.